Oh shit. Oh shit. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon's Lair. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime, and helps us go full time. Do it! Do it! Do it. Do it. Thanks so much for the support guys, and that was on the menu for today Glacier. We're back at you with an official teaser trailer of Hawkeye. Hawkeye, yeah, this is definitely, I mean, I guess a lot of people probably weren't that hyped up about the Hawkeye, you know, series coming on Disney Plus, but I know the main things for me that like, I'm looking forward to is one, I wanna see some more backstory when he was Ronin, cause I feel like there's a lot of shit he did in that, you know, five year period when he was just like being a mercenary and assassin or whatever. Um, and then also with the end credit scene of Black Widow, we know that Yelena is in the fold and Yelena is pretty much gonna be going after Hawkeye thinking that he was responsible for Natasha's death. Yeah, and I, I personally like him as an actor. Like, yeah, I think he's yeah Jimmy Renner, I mean, he's been in some of the best movies I've been out that I've seen. And even when he's played villains, like when he was the, I think he was like a villain in SWAT, like way back in Colin Farrell. Yeah, and I remember like his breakout role for me was Hurt Locker. And then plus obviously he's been doing an amazing job as, as Hawkeye. So. Yeah, so I mean, I'm either way, like if you put him on anything, I'll, I'll watch it. For sure, and I think with this one, it's I think it's more about like, I think a part of it's gonna be about passing the torch. And now we have Kate Bishop in the mix, which is supposed to be pretty much the protege, the next Hawkeye, so to speak. So I'm just ready to see what this trailer's gonna offer us. And I'm ready as fuck. Glacier, you ready? I'm ready. All right, guys, and as usual, just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. And with that being said, let's fucking go. First Christmas we've had together in years. I love you guys. Damn. Rogers the musical? Uh, <laughs> making up for some lost time. Authorities are wondering if the masked vigilante who terrorized the city's oh, underworld is... Ronan. The past is caught up with me. Damn. Should we be worried? No, no, it's nothing. I'll be home for Christmas. I promise. It's cool this is a Christmas movie or a Christmas show. <laughs> I'm guessing it's coming out close to Christmas. Probably. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. Oh shit. Is Kate Bishop? Oh shit. You're a Hawkeye. Who the hell are you? Some people have actually called me. The world's greatest Damn. Archer. <laughs> Are you one of those people? It's the most wonderful. Hey, babe, I should be back in a day or two. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh shit! Oh shit! Right back at like a video game. Things have gotten more complicated. Damn. Sounds like diehard uh, influences. <sighs> okay, college. Oh, shit. <laughs> Show you this clean move. <laughs> Training you. Number 24. Looks very nice. Oh, just some Christmas. All right, Hawkeye Glacier. What do you think of the trailer? Really great. I mean, yeah, kind of like you said, it gives me a lot of different vibes, like from different movies and elements. Especially like they're like. Their balance between the Hawkeye and Kate Bishop is kind of reminds me a little bit of like Logan and X-23. Yeah, like obviously they have bit. a lot of similarities in this one. Not as, not as dark, obviously, as Logan. Right, right, right. But yeah, she obviously looks up to him. It seems like she's been dressing up as Ronan. That's why they pop up in the news. Oh, is this the return of the masked vigilante or whatever? So right. It's, it's like if Peter Parker met Miles Morales. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, similar to that. But yeah, it's it's gonna be cool because then we're gonna get some more flashback, it seems, into when Hawkeye was Ronin to find yeah. out, like, you know, what he was doing and what, what inspired Kate Bishop to kind of like follow in his footsteps, so to speak. But yeah, I mean, being that it's obviously a holiday movie, it's gonna be very Christmas themed, it seems. So it does remind me of, of Die Hard, especially with the scenes of him like riding like a scaffold or a zip tie from building to building. Definitely has some Die Hard influences there. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a mixture of, you know, some humor, some action. We'll get some more backstory on Clint, of course. Kind of like what you said earlier at the beginning of the reaction is like later, passing the torch. Passing the torch, like they're slowly building. Yeah, up. and I like Haley Steinfeld. Um, she definitely has a lot of charisma, so I can see her. Because think about it, she's gonna be a pretty big role in the MCU again, because we know how the Disney Plus shows are gonna kind of be the catalyst in some of these larger um, team-up movies. So I feel like she's gonna be part of the Young Avengers for sure. We'll definitely see where she comes from as well. And yeah, still can't wait. Um, with November 24th, personally, I'll be on like a holiday vacation for between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So we'll be playing some catch up when the show first comes out. We'll probably be a couple episodes behind. We'll definitely get caught up with everybody else. But final thoughts, Glacier? Can't wait. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be super entertaining. Like I said, uh, Jeremy Renner is a great actor. 
Um, like I said, like, like a lot of his films, I can't wait to see the series with him and get more in-depth look at Hawkeye. It's gonna make me appreciate him more in the movies. And I kinda wanna see at the end if they tease anything with what's been going on with uh, Garland Witch and Loki. Like any like little small little glimpse of like multiverse. Yeah, because I'm sure at some point some of the timelines are gonna start crossing because we know it's all post endgame uh, right. timeline there. So even though he's on Earth, I just wonder if he'll notice anything. That would, it'd be kinda cool to see like a little yeah. tidbits, which I imagine we might get. So with that being said, Dragon Certified. Yeah, at the end of the day, I can't wait to see the uh, Rogers musical. I'm sure that's gonna be, you know, oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, two thumbs way up. And we didn't see anything about like, Elena, how she fits in the mix. I don't know if she's gonna be more like an extra credit scene or if it's gonna be something that they're just keeping, you know, close to the chest until the show comes out. But yeah, can't wait. Dragon Certified, fucking hit it. And there you have it guys, another one in the books. The real question is, what did you guys think of Drag Soul Land? Any other Easter eggs that you guys picked up on in the teaser trailer? What is your hype level for the Hawkeye series? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video guys, thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons, I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time.